Hey guys, if you shoot a highly saturated scene like a vibrant sunrise or sunset, then one of the biggest problems that you'll deal with in post-processing that photograph is finding a suitable color grade for it such that you don't have these weird cartoon-like colors in it. It's a real balancing act playing around with the temperature and tint sliders in something like Lightroom Classic to try and arrive at a scene that looks natural but still retains all that beautiful, lovely, saturated color you saw when you were photographing it. And often it's not as simple as just moving that tint slider from the magenta towards the green because then you get an overly green image. And as photographers, we often get a bit stuck in our ways and stick to the tools and techniques that we've been using for many years. But there are advantages to using other tools and techniques. And in Lightroom, one of the most recently added tools, the Pum Color tool, is absolutely perfect for fixing tricky photo braids. And let me demonstrate why in a photograph I took this very morning down at my local beach. So here's our test image and as I say it's a vibrant sunrise I shot this morning and as you can see this photograph has a lot of magenta in it. I like the way we've got a little bit of magenta in the sky. I don't like the fact that I have pinky purple waves. So what I need to do is precisely target just this part of the photograph and get rid of that purple magenta color cast. And to do that, we're gonna use a tool that was added relatively recently to Lightroom called the Point Color Tool. But the first thing we need to do is tell it which portion of the photograph we need to target. And that is not the sky, I want to retain those purple magenta tones in the sky. So let's create a sky mask and then just invert it. And now all we're targeting is the ocean, the land, and this tree. And then I'm gonna come down to our point color tool. All I'm gonna do is grab the eyedropper. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna select these purple tones in the waves. And there's a couple of ways that you can use this tool. You can use the sliders, or you can just use the graphic, which is one I prefer doing. So I'm just gonna pull this down to desaturate the purple tones in that portion of the image. As you can see, the purple's going away from the waves and we're getting a much more natural look. It hasn't picked up on everything. So let's go back to the eyedropper, select again and drag down, desaturate. And as you can see, we're now getting a nice, clean, white-looking wave breaking on the shore. Now, I've used desaturation to fix this, but as you can see, we've also got hue and luminosity sliders in here, both of which can be used to alter the color grade of very specific portions of your photograph. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully, you found this little Lightroom tip of use fixing those annoying little color grade issues in your landscape photographs. If you did enjoy this video, you got value from it, please do give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel for more drone video and photo related content from me. Until the next time, guys. Ta-ta.